This painting, Across the Bog, is another by the Canadian artist David Alexander, which I have whom, to whom you have been introduced before by me. Um, some years ago, my husband took me along to see a painting he liked, which was um, a starboard side night crossing. And while I was there looking at it, I spotted this little painting called so romantically Across the Bog, conveying nothing at all. Looking at it, I thought to myself, I think I know where that is. And I've always had the view that it's looking across a moorland towards the mountains of Ascent. I think under one of the clouds, there's possibly the lump of Sulvan and the Bicanis and Kuineg, maybe Ben Mokoye. And it's a wonderful part of the world, but it's another, even a small painting, which you can look into and see a long way. And there's so much color. I thought perhaps too much color until I saw a photograph in a Walker's magazine, not long after, which seemed to be that view with all that color in it. And I just thought, well, isn't that a wonderful example of the colors in the natural world? Not long ago, I saw a television program in which a well-known presenter, I think it was Joanna Lumley, was visiting uh, Harrison Lewis. And she went to a workshop of a weaver of Harris Tweed. And he had a lovely piece of bluish tweed on his loom. And she was admiring it and he handed her a magnifying glass. And he said, now look at that. And she put it against the tweed and there was an absolute kaleidoscope of colors wasn't just blue, ever so many colors showed up in a tiny square inch. She happened to be wearing a brownish jacket, so she applied the magnifying glass to her sleeve. And it wasn't brown, full of gold and green and beige and everything under the sun. And I suppose these dyes, of course, would have been vegetable dyes originally, but it's somehow the natural world colors are coming out in it. And I think this time of year, when spring is coming and you can almost smell it growing, everything's changing daily. Little spots of color keep coming in gardens. It's wonderful to go out and about and just see what's there because more seems to be there every day. One can really immerse oneself in this and really start looking forward. This kind of richness makes me think of lines from a poem by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. And she says this, Earth's crammed with heaven, and every common bush a fire with God. But only he who sees takes off his shoes. Keep looking. <laughs>